Welcome back. And I'm joined this week for the segment of Law Talk by Matthew Bazzetti from the Bazzetti Law Office. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Of course. So I know last week they had closing arguments for Harvey Weinstein, and today um, they're moving forward with that trial. Could you tell me a little about that? So the process uh, that happens now uh, is complicated and intricate. Uh, a lot of things can happen once the jury's instructed. So once the judge reads to them the law, the jury then begins to deliberate. They can ask questions. That has to be done by a knock. They, they write the question down. They submit it. And then everybody's got to then discuss how to properly answer that. Mm -hmm. Do they just read back some testimony, provide them another piece of evidence, things like that. The, <coughs> excuse me. The complicating factor becomes they always, and most jurors, want a copy of the law. They want to see what does the law say and compare it. And in New York State, unfortunately, our law, our law doesn't allow that to happen. They can't take anything back into the deliberation room with them other than the evidence, the physical things, photographs, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if it's a gun case, something like that. So in Mr. Weinstein's case, that's what's going on now. They're back there talking, deliberating, um, and, and figuring out, is it one count guilty, one count not guilty? There can be split verdicts, all guilty, all not guilty, and then you go from there. Mm -hmm. Now, how long can the deliberation process last? As long as it takes. So at some point, the judge will ask them, you know, are you close to one thing or another or not? Mm -hmm. uh, and then he'll give them what's called the Allen charge, and that's just a standard jury instruction saying, you've been decided to, to reach a verdict and you need to move towards that no matter what that verdict is. And then if they can't, then a mistrial would be declared. That mm -hmm. would require the proceeding to start anew. All right. And one last question. So how, um, if he is found guilty, how long can he expect um, to be in jail if he is it in jail? It depends on the charges. So a lot of the charges, if he's convicted of all of them, it could potentially be the rest of his life in, in a New York State prison. Uh, the other thing, if it's one or two charges, you're looking at maybe potentially probation, things like that. So it depends on what specific charge he's convicted of mm -hmm. uh, and then how many. All right. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. And if you have an idea for next week's segment of Law Talk, you can submit those ideas to lawtalk at wetmtv.com. And 18 News at Noon will be right back.